He'll do the catching. And that ninth. Oh, they will play behind Sakura Miwa doing the pitching as Nakagawa stands in. First pitch from Alvelo is in there for a strike underway. Perfectly on time again. 11 a.m. start time on a hazy day here in Italy. 28 degrees Celsius, 85 Fahrenheit. Thanks for joining us here on Game Time Sport. Grounded, diving stab by Cordova at second base. Flips to first. And that is out number one. Very nice play to retire Nakagawa. As Cordova went diving to her left. Camera right to make that play for out number one. That is Odalis Cordova at second base. We'll give you the defensive alignment. As Keiko Ishikawa steps in, first pitch is in there for a strike. Left to right across the outfield, it is Nia Carter in left, Madison Simon in center, and Alyssa Rivera over in right. This pitch is fouled off for strike two. Starting at third base, we head around the horn, Jenna Pratt over at third base, Alana Rivera at short, Dallas Cordova at second, Carla Claudio at first base, and Alina Lee Lopez does the catching for Taryn Alvello. Quick mound conference as the battery gets on the same page. Alvello is ready, rocks and delivers. Pitch misses high for ball one. As mentioned during the opening, a bit of a surprising result there in yesterday's game for Puerto Rico. The Netherlands able to find a slight upset. This is a chop toward short. Over is Rivera. She fires across the diamond, but not in time. And that will be an infield hit. Ishikawa able to beat that out. To the backhand went Rivera. And the throw was across her body. Good defensive play to make sure she had it, but she did double clutch. And that double clutch probably cost her the out there. It will go down as a hit. So it would have been a bang bang play regardless. So now runner at first base, Tuskamoto. So that pitch misses for ball one. Another hot day here in Castellones de Strada. A bit hazier. No clouds in the sky, but certainly a, a stagnant heat. No breeze to speak of either. Being with some colleagues from the United States, this is chopped foul at the first base side. Some parallels drawn with the uh, southern part of the U.S. How hot it is there at the moment. One ball, two strikes the count. Alvelo delivers, pitch misses away. That uh, evens things up at two and two. Ishikawa dancing a little bit off first base, but back with the pitch. This is chopped back up the middle. That's a base hit. Ishikawa hesitated at second, but will head to third, sliding in there. Able to go first to third on the base knock. So back-to-back -back singles. And now there are runners on the corners with one out and threatening early in this one. And this is the trouble that the Netherlands ran in, or excuse me, that Puerto Rico ran into in their game yesterday. They fell behind the Netherlands in the Dutch first offensive inning. The Netherlands never looked back. This time, Puerto Rico is the home team. They're trying to keep Japan off the board before they even get their first at bat. They don't want to play from behind yet again in this one. And you can see that it started to affect them quite quickly. Them pressing at the plate. Certainly mounting pressure 
on their star players, like Felicia Ocasio. This pitch is up and in for a ball. Throw down, ends up in center field, and the run will score as Ishikawa crosses the plate. Throw into third, bounces and off of Tuskamoto. But it is one to nothing, steal. Japan. And the on, I guess, what we could call a double steal. But really, it ends up being an error. So Tuskamoto will end up with a stolen base, advances to third on the throwing error by the catcher. And it's one to nothing. It's Japan, again, has that early lead. They did not score until the fourth inning yesterday against Australia. It's time. Puerto Rico will again have to come from behind. Meanwhile, the count to Shimoyama is three and nothing. Harry had an RBI and a double in yesterday's contest. And she will walk on four pitches. Alvelo, not exactly eager to throw her something she could hit. And that will bring up Luis Sakamoto. Has been, as of yet, the tournament's most dangerous hitter. Three hits in yesterday's contest. The only hitter to have three hits, showing Bunt brings the bat back and takes ball one. Only one out in the inning. One run home already and runners on the corners. And all four of yesterday's broadcasts, broadcast colleagues, Tim Collins, Amanda Fama, talking a lot about these moments as Sakamoto gets hit in the ankle by a pitch, and that will load the bases. Sakamoto Talking a lot about how every individual moment, it's almost like the butterfly effect, it can affect the entire tournament, particularly in a tournament this short. And now with the bases loaded on one out, Shiho Suto, as the designated player, has a chance to break this game wide open after Sakamoto it's looked at by the Japanese coaching staff and training squad. <laughs> Shudo yesterday was used as a pinch hitter in the starting lineup. Of Sakamoto. Louis Sakamoto was the designated player. Sakamoto today playing third base. Amakudo on the bench to start. So now base is loaded, one out, one run home for Japan here in the top of the first. First pitch is in there for a strike to Shuto. Shuto takes strike two. Very much looking for her pitch. Japan, very left-handed heavy. Roster, number of these teams with left-handed heavy rosters as the 0-2 pitch. This is lined out towards right field on a line. Rivera has it. She will haul it in for out number two. It will be a sacrifice, however, as coming in to score from third is Tuskamoto. Two to nothing, Japan. Shimoyama moves up to third base on the sacrifice fly. Now runners on the corners, two down, and two runs home for Japan. They would love to get more as Kawabata steps in, takes a ball high. Kawabata looking for her first hit of this tournament. Seventh batter in this inning. Head in the count, two and nothing. Bello relying a lot on the fastball. While Lopez is doing a good job framing. Just had a little bit of trouble locating. Count one ball, two strikes. Now, umpires for today's game. We tell Zidek from the Czech Republic has home plate. Marnie Carvalho from Canada over at first. Renzo Ruiz from Mexico at second. Rina Fabrizzi from Italy over at third. Ground ball flipped over to first base. And that will retire the side. But Japan gets on the board in the top half of the first. And after half an inning, Japan to Puerto Rico coming up. Here on Game 
Time Sport. You're watching the Women's Softball World Cup Finals on Game Time Not Sport. Bottom half of the first Betting inning, Puerto Rico with their first seven, at bat, and they are already in a two run Betting hole. As Japan scoring twice in the top half of the first inning. Let's give you the starting lineup for Puerto Rico. Mia Carter will lead things off. She is the left fielder. Carla Claudio over at first base will bat second. Jenna Pratt over at third base. Bats in the three spot with Alicia Ocasio, the designated player, batting cleanup. The five spot, Alyssa Rivera. She is the right fielder. Odalis Cordova at second base, bat sixth. In the seven spot, it's Alina Lee Lopez. She is doing the catching. Madison Simon in the eighth spot and in center field. And batting ninth, Alana Rivera, the shortstop. And they will try and help out Taryn Alvello, allowing the two runs in the first inning. The throwing error certainly not helping things out there. As Nia Carter steps in from the left side against Sakura Miwa. Picked up the save in yesterday's game for Japan. Pitch misses off the plate to Carter. Ball one. Carter has driven in the lone Puerto Rican run so far in this tournament. 333 average in her first few at-bats of this tournament. As the count quickly one and one to her. Defensive lineman for Japan. Tuskamoto in left, Kuroji in center, Nakagawa over in right. From third base, we go around the horn. We Sakamoto at third. Captain for this Japanese side, Kyoko Ishikawa at short, Tomi Kawabata at second, and Mitsuri Shimoya at first. Yumi Ishii doing the catching for Kuramiwa, as this is a little chopper out in front of the plate. Handled by the third baseman, Sakamoto, and Carter retired. At number one, a bunt single, but bunt pushed too far towards the pitching circle. Relatively easy play for the third base player. And Sakamoto. That brings up Carla Claudio, right-handed batter. This is grounded towards first base. Easy play for Shimoyama, who Come only has to take a couple steps to her base. left. For that is out number out two. Out so far, Sakura Miwa has thrown four pitches in this game number to get two outs. Not the opening that Puerto Rico Martin. needed, particularly after dropping down two runs. Bit of an uncharacteristic first few innings of this tournament for this Puerto Rican side. Normally a team that comes out with a lot of energy, a lot of offense. So far, it has uncharacteristically been missing. And while it would be fair to say that a lot of this team's fortunes do rest on the shoulders of Alicia Ocasio, it would also be fair to say that she can't do it all on her own. Swing and a miss there to even the count at one to Pratt. And third base. Does have a double so far in this tournament. As Mua's pitch misses inside. Always interesting watching the Japanese defensive alignments. All these teams with great scouting departments. Some take their application of their scouting materials quite differently. Certainly this Japanese side. We saw yesterday against Australia. Almost set plays in terms of defensive alignment. It's right now. You can see Sakamoto waiting to see what the pitch is before retreating towards third base. This is chopped towards third. Sakamoto up with it. 
throws across the diamond. Nice job by Shimoyama to grab a somewhat errant throw over at first base. And the side is retired. Three ground balls. Down in order goes Puerto Rico. One, two, three. We're through an inning here at Castellones de Estrada. Two nothing Japan over Puerto Rico. Finals here on GameTime.score. Inning two to nothing Japan over Puerto Rico. It'll be the eight, nine, and one hitters for Japan, who sent seven batters to the plate in the first. And now it is Ayane Hiroji, Yumekiri Ishii, and Ayane Nakagawa do up against Taran Alvella. Two nothing deficit so far. And this is the first matchup that we've had where the team's so closely ranked in the WBSC Konami World Rankings. Japan ranked third. Puerto Rico ranked second. Showing bunt is Kuroji. She punches at it, but can't come up with it. Count evens at one. This is fouled back behind us. And out of play for Kuroji. Playing in center field, still looking for her first hit of this tournament. One ball, two strikes, the count. Alvelo kicks and delivers, going back to the fastball, and she gets Kroji looking. Absolutely throws her a beautiful pitch, and that is out number one. An important out for Alvelo. After hitting Sakamoto, has managed to come back and get the next three outs. Even though one was productive in the form of a sacrifice fly. There were four consecutive batters in the first inning who reached. This game could have gotten out of control quite quickly. Japan having the bases loaded with just one out. And won the count. That pitch misses high and away. Meet Kiri Ishii. Doing the catching, did the catching yesterday, batting out of the nine spot. Checks her swing, but she did offer. It was a strike anyway. Now down on the count, one and two. Novello kicks and delivers. This off the hands, out towards right field, falling fast. That will fall in for a base hit, gets past the right fielder. And the throw comes into second, but into second is Kiri Ishii with a sliding double. Good hustle play by Kiri Ishii. The right fielder Rivera was coming in to make the catch. She couldn't get there in time, and the ball got past her. One of the shorter doubles you'll see, but a double nonetheless. Throw came right to second. Not handled cleanly either by Alana Rivera. At second base, so one out. Again, Japan with a runner on base with one down in the inning. Pitch misses high to Nakagawa. Rounded out to second to start this game. Now bats with the runner in scoring position. This Japanese team, known for their patience, showing a lot of aggression here in terms of their batting approach. Alvelo now taking a little bit more time to collect herself in between pitches. Extra three, four seconds. And it delivers a strike. Sitting about 64, 65 miles an hour. One ball, two strikes the count. She delivers. And that'll even things up at two and two. Almost exclusively using the fastball here. Tries to pitch out of trouble. 2-2, two, two, waved at. And Nakagawa makes contact off the top of the barrel. Sends that foul back behind us and out of play. Two-two pitch coming again. Fouled right back to us into the screen. 
out of play. If you're wondering where our broadcast position is, it would be in the bottom left-hand corner of the view you just saw. The screen, basically right over the right-hand batter's box. Fantastic view of home plate. As this is skied out towards right field, giving chase is Rivera, but it falls in for a base hit. Up to third base is Kiri Ishii. And now there are runners on the corners. Again, just one out. And we will have a conference here. Salvello running into trouble in the second consecutive inning. With a woman down. As now we'll turn this into a more official mound visit. we will have a hydration break. Not a pitching change, a hydration break. Not a surprise here, it is quite warm. Currently 30 degrees centigrade, about 86 degrees Fahrenheit. No, that's not entirely accurate, but I'm, I'm not doing the math right now, to be quite honest. Jorge Santos. Out to discuss things with Taryn Alvello. She's ready to rock and roll. So we resume. Runners on the corners. One out. And with a 2 nothing lead. Threatening for more here in the top half of the second inning. Puerto Rico. In a... Basically, a must-win situation as this ball is fouled back. Even though we're just starting off the tournament, it will be quite a challenge to qualify for the Super Round, which the top two teams of each group qualify for with an 0-2 record. We're entirely relying on the TQB, total competitive balance. Quality balance, I should say. Which is how tiebreakers are determined. Tiebreak, that's new to the softball world, but those from the baseball side of things will be familiar with that. I won't give you the full math, but it is effectively numbers of runs scored. Divided by offensive inning. So the average number of runs scored when you're on offense divided by the average number of scores of runs allowed when you're on defense. This has popped up foul. And Claudio will settle under it. That's a big foul out. As Claudio will haul that in without any drama for the second out of the inning. And a big one at that. And that will bring Tiscomoto. Late. Again, we'll have a short conference. And now stepping in is Tuskamoto. First pitch to her is low. The throw down from Lopez will be in time. They get the out. Question will be if the Run scored in time. And I don't believe it did. We'll get some clarity on that when we return. But right now, 2 0 Japan over Puerto Rico. So we head to the bottom half of the second inning. her long enough before she was caught with the tag for the run to score, so it does remain two to nothing. Bit of a break there from Puerto Rico. We'll see how wide they can open that window of opportunity, as it'll be Ocasio, Alyssa Rivera, and Odalis Cordova due up against Sakura Miwa of Japan. First pitch to Ocasio is a ball. She pitched four innings in yesterday's contest. 
Ending up with the loss. Officially was the designated player, but ended up getting the start in the circle. This is foul back and out of play. She had herself quite the opening round last year. Did Ocasio. This is grounded towards second. And Kawabata will fumble it, opts to eat it rather than flip it to first base. So Ocasio will reach. That is an error. First base runner of the game and what can only be described as a gift. As we watch it here on replay. That's a routine ground ball over to second. It's a quick fumble. And that bobble from Kawabata is enough. That brings up Alyssa Rivera. As now we'll have a stoppage of play. Played umpire Michael Zidick over to talk to the Puerto Rican coaching staff. Casio over at first base. As now Alyssa Rivera will step in. Consultation over there. Member of the Auburn Tigers. Playing her time in the NCAA. It's Puerto Rican national team. This is hammered. Towards right field, hooks foul quickly into the screen in front of the first base stands. Now even at one and one. Dallas Cordova waiting on deck. Miwa delivers the pitch. Fastball delivered high, but she gets the swing and a miss. Fair now down in the count. Almost looked like it was a hit and run. Neither the hit nor the run taking place. Pitch misses outside and low. That will even things at two and two. You all ready to go in the circle. Rivera again fouls it off. Melissa Rivera really making her work. Almost causing Miwa to have to take a couple extra seconds in the circle. Miwa looking to work after about four or five seconds. Something we talked about with Amanda Fama yesterday. Now interfering with timing. Takes on an outsized role. A short tournament like this as the count runs full. Osio will be off after the pitch. As Rivera waits for Miwa's payoff. Here it comes. Swung on and missed. Good movement on that pitch from Miwa. She gets her first strikeout. As Alyssa Rivera is retired. Good movement down and in on that payoff pitch. That brings up O'Dallas Cordova batting from the right side. Playing second base today. First pitch over the outside corner for a strike. Miwa gets the sign she likes from Kiri Ishii. This time, this is away. Puerto Rico already trailing two to nothing. Also their first base runner of the day, still at first base with one out. Showing bunt to Cordova and crashing in from third base. Or first base, I should say, is Shimayama. By crashing in, I mean she was coming in ready for the bunt when Cordova brought the bat back. 
Moyama hit the ground. Ready for a line drive at the face. Foul back by Cordova. She calls behind one and two. Lena Lee Lopez, catcher on deck. That pitch just misses off the plate. See on the broadcast. Pitch clock absolutely in play here. Pitchers need about half the pitch clock. About on average. See him use about 10, 11 seconds. That swung on and missed. Back to back strikeouts. As Miwa gets Rivera and then gets Cordova. Again, using that pitch over towards the left hand batter's box. This time diving away from the right hand hitter. Alina Lee Lopez pops up the first pitch. They'll make the seats behind us and out of play. Lopez. a good day yesterday. That pitch puts her behind in the count, nothing and two. A pair of hits, including a double. This time she will strike out. So after the error, Fazio stranded at first base as Miwa comes back and strikes out the side. To strand her there. We're through two innings, two nothing, Japan over Puerto Rico. Here on Game Time Sport, you are watching the 17th Women's Softball World Cup Finals. On what is still a beautiful morning here in Italy, just after 11.30 a.m. local time. Joining us from the east coast of the United States or Puerto Rico. Just after 5.30 a.m., thanks for having your breakfast with us. Joining us in Japan just after 6.30 p.m., thanks for having your dinner with us. First pitch of this third inning to Iri Shimoyama is in there for a strike. Second pitch is lined right back up the middle. Or I shouldn't say Shimoyama, it's uh, Tuskamoto. He's out the plate when Nakagawa was caught stealing. That pitch was up and away. Tuskamoto, good piece of hitting, drive that right back up the middle. Leadoff runner on, first time for either team. Leadoff batter has been aboard. First pitch is in there for a strike now to Shimoyama. She walked in her first half bat, was stranded over at third base. In the first inning, Japan scoring twice in the first. Almost getting another run in the second. As it was Nakagawa who wasn't able to get no run down. And Nakagawa been out, out there for another second, second and a half. It'd be three nothing Japan as the run would have scored before the out was recorded. It's just missing inside. Salvello asking for clarification on where that missed. Something of a uh, note in a tournament like this, how respectful the uh, environment is, particularly towards the officials and the umpiring crew. So when I say something like, ask the umpire for clarification, it's not done in an antagonistic way. It is general, general ask for clarification, which I have to say is somewhat refreshing. I mean, how often the news, particularly in the Western world, is otherwise, particularly when coming to that point part of the game. Check swing. Umpire Zidic checks with Carvalho over at first base. She did not go. Now, even now at two and two. Alvello picks and delivers. This is lined out towards right field. Over to grab it is Rivera. And Alyssa will haul that in for out number one. Now for Team Japan, number seven. Runner remains at first base. And Tuskamoto 
And now Sakamoto, who was hit by a pitch in the ankle, shows bunt, pulls the bat back. Takes a strike over the outside corner anyway. Three hits in yesterday's game. A pair of RBIs. The hits leader in this tournament. Takes an inside pitch there. Over the inside corner, I should say, for strike two. This is grounded towards shortstop. A bit of a slow ball. The throw over to first just in time. Bang, bang, play so at first base. Alana Rivera's throw. To second base. Gets Sakamoto by a couple steps up to second base on the fielder's choice. That's right. Sakamoto. She's now in scoring two position, outs. but with two Nine outs for, four, for Suto. First pitch is in there for a strike. This is the first of four games today. Uh, four games tomorrow as well. Same on Thursday and Friday. And the Super Round count evens at one. Next game, I'll have the call with my co-host Amanda Fama as China takes on Canada. That game scheduled for 2 p.m. local time here as this is skied out towards right field. Mr. Rivera has it. And that will end the inning. So the leadoff single proves harmless as Japan strands their fourth runner on base through three innings after two and a half. Two nothing Japan over Puerto Rico here at the Women's Softball World Cup Finals. Third inning, and Sakura Miwa. As Madden, Madison Simon steps in on the right side. First pitch, and there for a strike. Two to nothing. Japan has the lead here. First of four games from Castellanos de Strada here in Italy today. It's grounded out towards short. Ishikawa has it, collects it, fires to first. Shimonama there to receive it for out number one. As mentioned, next game, China versus Canada. I'll have the call of that game with Amanda Fama, 2020 Tokyo Olympian for Italy. Fantastic insight on the call yesterday. She'll be sticking around with my colleague Tim Collins for the evening games as well. Netherlands versus Australia. And the nightcap, which is going to be a good one, especially given the atmosphere we had last night on a Monday night. It'll be the Italy as the visitors against the United States. That one at 8.30 local time. Italy in yesterday's game. Never seen anything quite like it. They had a two-run home run by Erica Piancastelli waved off. That's the runner at first left early. So they came back in the next inning and hit three home runs including one of the hardest hit home runs. And a pinch hit performance by Marta Gasparotto on the first pitch she saw in the game. She hammered one, four or five rows deep out into left field. We have a bit of an obstructed view from our broadcast position. We didn't need to see where that one landed. We knew off the bat that one was gone. Finally, with that 6 0 victory. And last night's nightcap, they were the home side and the host yesterday. Tonight, the United States might be listed as the home side, but it will definitely not be a home atmosphere for the Eagles. Two and two the count to Alana Rivera. Shimoyama over at first base. A few steps in, now retreats towards the bag. This is hammered out towards left field. Uh, hooking foul. And indeed, it is a foul ball. Uh, ricochets all the way around. 
And to the right fielder. Left fielder, I should say. That would be something if it got to the right fielder. It's to Skimoto. That runs the count full. Just missing to Alana Rivera. Karamiwa, payoff pitch again. And that is a called third strike. Fourth strikeout for Miwa. First strikeout looking. It's Lana Rivera. Determined to take all the way. Ends up taking strike three. So now two down in the inning. Apart from the error to Ocasio. No base runner so far for Miwa. That trend continues as Nia Carter rounds out to second to end the inning. We're through two and a half. The score, Japan two, Puerto Rico nothing. Here at the Women's Softball World Cup final. Excuse me, we're through three and a half, I should say. Top of the fourth inning, bottom of the order due up for Japan. Have a 2-0 lead here over Puerto Rico. Day two, game number five of the 2024 Women's Softball World Cup Finals. Bit of a longer break there. We have the heat break at the end of the third and sixth inning. Understandable why. Currently 31 degrees centigrade on the field. 
Approaching 90 degrees Fahrenheit. As Hitomi Kawabata pops this one foul down in the count, nothing and two. Japan scoring twice in the first inning. Since then, it's been Sakura Miwa. One base runner on the air, and that's been it so far. Four strikeouts for Miwa. As this is skied out towards left field. And Carter takes a little bit of an interesting route to it. Gets there nonetheless in plenty of time. Catch over her shoulder. Almost a half-hearted swing for out number one. That brings Ayane Kuroji to the plate. Alvelo currently has one strikeout. Belongs to Kuroji, although Kuroji will not bat here as Fujimoto come off the bench and do the hitting for her. Fujimoto used in a similar role yesterday. And had a sacrifice bunt. Won't have that opportunity this time. As the necessary formalities are taking place. We've gone through the rest of today's schedule. Why don't we give you tomorrow's as well. Tomorrow, the last day of the opening round. First game of that. Japan once again in the early game. We have a home side against the Netherlands. That game at 11 a.m. local time. Then the United States plays China at 2 o'clock here in Italy. Australia will face Puerto Rico at 5.30. And then Italy again in the nightcap uh, against Canada at, at 8.30 local time. Hard to say this. Uh, well, not hard to say, but slightly hard to believe. But if Puerto Rico loses here... They could effectively be out of this World Cup Finals before we, they even make it to day three. Oh, and two record, very hard to overcome. Really all the teams that lost yesterday now in a must win position. Which we'll certainly talk about for China and Canada. Both teams looking for their first win in the next contest. Two balls, one strike to count. Fujimoto gets the bunt down. Barehanded attempt by the third baseman Pratt, but it's not in time. Fujimoto will reach. She has blazing fast speed. Reaches on that bunt single. Japan with one out base runner. Their fifth hit of the day. This pitch up and in. Kiri Ishii. Fujimoto remains over at first base. That's one way to prevent a bunt from getting laid down. That's actually a universal truth for baseball and softball. Up and in. Way to handle a bunt attempt. This time Kiri Ishii. Doesn't show bunt. It's a strike nonetheless. Down the count, nothing and two. This is grounded over towards second. Cordova with the dive, her throw into the ground. Good job by Claudio to get off the bag and make sure that ball doesn't go any further. But everybody is safe. That will be a hit. This was a good job just to get there by Cordova. And it would have had to be a spectacular throw to get either runner. As Fujimoto was already up at second base. So two on, one down. The top of the order due up. Nakagawa, our third at bat here in the fourth inning. One for two. Singled in the second inning. She was caught stealing to end that inning. So let off the game was out number one. After she was retired on the ground out to second. Ishikawa singled. Tuskamoto singled. Shikawa scored on the throwing error by the catcher Lopez. And Tuskamoto scoring on the sacrifice by Shuto. Sacrifice fly. 
Jack Swing. She did not go. As third base umpire. Count two and nothing to Nakagawa. Can't see the bullpens from here, but not a lot of action as this hooks just foul down the right field line. That had extra bases written all over it. And at the last moment there, just taking a dive into foul territory. Moto at third base. And have scored easily. Kiri Ishii for our catcher. Has good speed at first. That pitch just misses off the plate. Three balls and a strike. Ishikawa, one for two, waits on deck. Count runs full. Alvello pumping a fastball in there. Runners will be off after the pitch. This is skied out towards center field and deep. Going back is Simon. She looks up. That ball is gone. A three run home run for Ayane Nakagawa. And Japan has opened this game wide. It is five to nothing. Japan over Puerto Rico. Ball looked like it was gonna stay up, maybe hit the top of the wall and bounce out. But it just cleared the outfield fence in dead center field. Hitting the first row of seats. First home run for Japan. First home run for a team not named Italy. And this one ends a three run shot. As both Fujimoto and Kiri Ishii come home to score. Five to nothing, Japan. And now Puerto Rico in some dire straits, especially as this is sent out into the gap in right center field. Headed for second is Ishikawa. She's now headed for third, sliding in there safely. As the throw comes into second, back to back extra base hits. As it's a home run and then a triple. And Japan has blown this one wide open. They are clearly seeing the ball quite well. And they are finding gaps and unsurprisingly, we will now get a, mount, a visit to the pitching circle. And it would appear, yes indeed, Avello's day is done. Pitching change coming to you from Castellones de Strada. We'll be back in a moment. Five to nothing, Japan has the lead here. In the fourth inning, you're watching game five of the 2024 Women's Softball World Cup Finals. Her first pitch. This is for ball one. Mancha pitching a couple innings in yesterday's contest. Alvelo still responsible for the runner at third. Three and a third innings. Nine hits. So far, five runs all earned. One strikeout, one walk. Tough outing for her. And Puerto Rico has some work to do. They're going to get out of this one loss hole there in. First strike punched in there from Mancha. Two one coming now. And that hits the arm pad of Tuscamoto. I believe that will be on the swing, and indeed it is. They'll say hit the nub of the bat. Two and to the count. Pitch skips into the dirt to run things full. Shimoyama and Sakamoto wait on deck. 
on this Japanese side. They're two most successful hitters so far in the early stages of this tournament. Runner at third is Ishikawa. She takes the lead as the payoff pitch. Skied foul down the left field line. Out of play. 5-0. Japan has the lead. Japanese pitching has yet to allow a run in this tournament. They've used two pitchers. With Miwa pitching yesterday. Goto with seven strikeouts. This is grounded out towards left field. That will get a, the run home. Ishikawa comes in to score on the RBI ground single for Tuskamoto. It is now six to nothing Japan. That finishes off Avello's line. Six runs all earned for the Puerto Rican starter. And now it's all Mancha's game. The runner at first base, her sole responsibility. First pitch to Shimoyama is in for a strike. Moyama, 0 for 1 with a walk, stranded at third base in the first inning. Right handed batter, a bit closer to home plate than perhaps some others stand, but not so much in a uh, crowding the plate type fashion. You can stand close to the plate without crowding it. Moyama with that back foot, about as close as any of the batters we've seen to the plate. Off and running as Tuskamoto throw down is not in time. The throw came to the second base side of the bag. Tag had to be applied across the body of Alana Rivera. So we take a look on the replay here. The throw was low, the pitch was low and away. The throw was high to the second base side. Rivera. Had to do quite a bit of work to try and bring that one down. It will be an easy steal for Tuskamoto. Second steal of this game. Tuskamoto, meanwhile, is three for three, three singles. RBI, run scored, pair of stolen bases. As this is grounded towards third and foul. As Pratt made the play over third, would have been a close one at first. Fortunately, a foul ball. Have the payoff pitch. Coming up to Shimoyama, runner at second. Still just one out in the inning. And four runs home for Japan. Big shot, the three-run home run by Nakagawa. But now Shimoyama Shirtout. swings and misses. Shimoyama is the out of the inning. That's just the second time a Japanese batter has struck out. Comes, second batter that Mancha faces. It's a crucial strikeout, second out of the inning. And now Sakamoto. 0 for 1, also been hit by a pitch. Will bat with the runner at second. Showing bunt, pulls the bat back. And takes strike one. Just afternoon here, the province of Udine. Beautiful day in Italy, northern Italy. Easy day, some clouds in the distance over the Dolomites. Overall, we've had fantastic weather these first two days, albeit a little bit on the warm side. That's why we have the heat breaks after the third and sixth inning. Also, we'll see a few other, um, we won't call them random heat breaks, but heat breaks as needed for the athletes. No two pitch coming. This is chopped towards short. Up with it is Alana Rivera. She fires to first, and the side is retired. But a four-run inning for Japan, the big blow. Three-run home run for Nakagawa. And a triple, followed by an RBI single. Ishikawa scores on Tuskamoto's single. As Japan sends eight batters to the plate in the fourth inning to score four runs. Six to nothing. Japan has lead over Puerto Rico as we head to the bottom of the fourth. Here on Game Time Sport, you're watching the Women's Softball World Cup Finals.
bottom of the fourth inning. Six to nothing, Japan has the lead. And a bit of a surprise here as we have a pitching change for Japan. Uh, Sakura Miwa wraps up her day. Three innings pitched, no hits, no runs, no walks. Four strikeouts, only base runner came on an error to lead off the second inning. And now we will have that pitching change as Mio Sakamoto, in her senior debut in competition for Japan, will enter the game. Six run cushion here as the right handed pitcher will deliver to Carla Claudio. Jenna Pratt and Alicia Ocasio, two, three, and four in the lineup. Just the one base runner so far for Puerto Rico. As that pitch in there for a strike. Sakamoto delivers. This is Lined softly out to left field, gets down for a base hit, and that's the first hit of the game for Puerto Rico. They greet Mio Sakamoto with a hit as the 24-year-old Hiroshima native fielded something that her predecessor did not. That is a base runner at first by way of a single, and we will have what appears to be a pinch runner, and indeed it is. Claudio will be replaced on the base paths. Let's see who that is. Not a surprise to see substitutions with the heat. Just a bit surprising to see Kuramiwa come out of the game, given how well she was pitching, but. Preservation also important in a tournament that only lasts a week. As is Tatiana Roman, Roman I should say, entering the game. For Puerto Rico, Roman at first base. Stepping into the batter's box, Jenna Pratt. Righty righty matchup with Mio Sakamoto. Miwa threw 40 pitches in this game, 27 of them for strikes. Melody's just taking a little bit longer than normal here. Now we have a moment. Set the scene for tomorrow. This is, of course, the first of four games today. Games 9 through 12, final games of the opening round are tomorrow. The Netherlands, Japan, USA, China, Australia, Puerto Rico, Italy, Canada. This group, Japan, Netherlands, Puerto Rico, and Australia, will be determined by the third game of the day. Everybody's ready. Pitch in there for a strike to Pratt. Nothing won the count, dancing off first base Roman. Back state safely. She does have good speed and is a threat to steal. At one coming. This is skied out towards center field. Kuroji looking for it. She fights the sun, makes the catch. Fires a good ball back into second. And as Roman retreats, it's out number one. Brings up Alicia Ocasio. Up until this inning, the only base runner for this Puerto Rican side. Hello, technically 0 for 1. This came on an error by the second baseman, Kawabata. First pitch to the left handed hitter. Sign away, ball one. Pitch is in there for a strike to even the count. Now one and two. 
Sakamoto able to fight back. Swung on and missed. Sakamoto working quickly. Goes with the high inside fastball. And Acasio swings through it. Out number two. For strikeout for Sakamoto. And now we'll have another pinch hitter. It's Martinez. Which hits for Alyssa Rivera. She will send this one out towards right field. Under it is Nakagawa. On the first pitch she sees, Martinez is retired on a fly ball to right. Through four innings of play, score remains much the same. Six to nothing, Japan leads Puerto Rico here at the Women's Softball World Cup Finals. Japan over Puerto Rico. As the umpire is taking a little bit of a cooling break, not a surprise given the equipment they've got to wear. Do have a defensive change. Forgot to bring you last half inning. As Fujimoto remained in the game, now playing right field. Ayane Nakagawa moves to center. Ayane. Roji comes out of the game. Would be particularly pertinent in this half inning. Fujimoto is due up third. Shudo, Kawabata, and Fujimoto due up against this Puerto Rican side. Shudo, 0 for 1 with a sacrifice fly back in the first inning. Time made it 2 to nothing. Japan. Japan hanging a crooked number. Four on the board, last half inning. Big damage coming from Nakagawa's home run. Shudo, the only member of this Japanese team, or Japanese batting order, I should say, not to bat last inning. Now down in the count, nothing and two. As Mancha, Gianna Mancha, continues to work. Japan, six runs on 10 hits. They've committed one error. Puerto Rico, no runs, just the one hit. They have also committed an error. Led to the run in the first inning. At, to, at the first run of the game, Ishikawa scoring on the throwing error by the catcher, Lopez. One ball, two strikes. Mancha delivers, chopped off the plate, out towards second. Cordova has it, fires to first base, and actually does not fire to first base. She holds it. Being very cautious, and that will be an infield hit. So Shuto, leadoff hitter aboard. Man has not had the leadoff hitter on since the third inning. They've done most of their damage today with one out in the inning, including yesterday in last inning. Starting and stopping at first base is Shuto. His first pitch misses to Kawabata. Ground out to end the first, fly out to start the fourth for the Japanese second baseman woman. And now the 1-0 coming. That one misses low. Mancha winds and delivers. This one is slash foul up towards third base and out of play. Next game up, China versus Canada. One team ends up one and one. No matter how that score shakes out, as this is chopped towards first, bobbled by Claudio. Actually, Claudio out of the game, excuse me, by Janelle Martinez. She's able to take it to first base for the out. Up to second is Shudo on the fielder's choice. That's Janelle Martinez in the game at first base for Claudio. Ortiz. 
Ortiz now taking over at catcher. Adding in that seven spot. As safe at first base. Fujimoto is safe at first base. Fujimoto. Second hit for her in consecutive innings. Off well, that speed to reach here. Now we'll have runners at the corners. Shudo able to advance. Uh, Shudo was thinking about potentially scoring there. Getting the rest of the defensive changes for this Puerto Rican side. Tatiana Roman has taken over in center field, batting in Claudio's spot. Ortiz now catching. And now pinch hitting for Japan. And Kiri Ishii is Sumitani. Wholesale changes for both sides. really taking effect, but also a six-run lead. First pitch was in there, or it was a ball. This pitch in there for a strike. Count evens at one and one to Sumitami. Runners at the corners for Japan. Fujimoto at first base. At third base is Shuto. That pitch just misses low. Mancha delivers. Ball in the dirt, starting and stopping at first base. Fujimoto just to try and draw the throw. Although we did see that didn't work in that second inning. Yeah, of course, making up for that with a three-run shot lasting. This is lined out towards left field. That gets down for a base hit. One run will score. Up to second base is Fujimoto. And that is run number seven. RBI single. Pinch hitter Sumitami. And Japan has a seven to nothing lead. Of course, that can potentially shorten this game. Of the run rule. So see how that plays out now. It is chopped foul by Nakagawa. Two for three. Three run home run. Last half inning. That coming off Alvello. Well, nine hits in three and a third innings. This is skied out towards right center field. Center fielder. We'll call it off as Martinez hauls that in. Excuse me, not Martinez. Up to third base goes the base runner. It's Roman out in center field now. Runners at the corners. Simon is in left. Now at the corners, Fujimoto able to advance. On the fly ball to center by Nakagawa. Retired for the second time today. That brings up Ishikawa. First pitch to her. It's over the outside corner for a strike. So wow, of course, winning the game. Obviously, objective number one. The way Japan has so far been winning, not yet allowing a run by their opposition, very much helps their TQB should there be a tie break situation. I will not pretend to do the calculations for you on air. That is left to the experts. So far, not allowing a run in all your defensive innings. It's probably a good sign. The error today, but able to overcome that so far. One and two, the count. Ishikawa. Two down in the inning, one run home. This is chopped towards right field. That will get past the dive of Cordova. And Fujimoto will score. RBI single for Shikawa. Her third hit of the day. Second of the single variety. And 
Fujimoto scores to make it eight to nothing. Up to second base goes Sumitami. First pitch to her is in there for a strike. Japan with these very long innings, these past couple innings, that may also have an effect on these substitutions. Ground ball out to Cordova. She snaps the throw to first, and the side is retired. Two more runs for Japan. They now lead eight to nothing as we head to the bottom half of the fifth inning here at the Women's Softball World Japan Cup Finals on GameTime.Sport. In effect, means game ends if an opponent is up by 15 after three, 10 after four, and seven after five. Well, we're in the bottom of the fifth inning, it is eight to nothing Japan over Puerto Rico. As Mio Sakamoto out for her second inning of work. She'll face Cordova, Ortiz, and Simon do up. Ortiz doing the catching. Camille Ortiz do up now second in the inning. And Puerto Rico will need to score here to extend this game. Swinging and missing. A good off speed pitch is Cordova. She struck out in the second. That was against Sakura Miwa. She's working quickly now is Sakamoto. We'll even the count at two. Next game up, 2 p.m. China, the away team, Canada, the home side. Both teams looking for their first win of this tournament in Group A. Now remains two and two on that foul ball. U.S. defeating Canada. Canada had the lead for most of that game, two to nothing. Final score, five to U.S. Let the United States hang around in that one. This one is grounded towards short. Up with it is Ikawa. She fires across towards first base. And that is the first out of the inning. Meanwhile, China actually got a great pitching performance yesterday from high. Five innings, last four runs. That's slightly a misnomer. It was way came in in relief after high allowed the two home runs to kick off the sixth inning. Up until that point, had been very good. As that hits Ortiz, and she will reach in her first at bat. So Ortiz on. Ortiz is hit by a pitch. It's now a discussion between Puerto Rico's coaching staff and the home plate umpire. Are they saying it was hit by pitch or that she stepped into the pitch? Well, we'll find out. Other two games today. Netherlands faces Australia. That game at 5.30 local time. And the nightcap, US USA versus Italy. Italy, the away team. But the host nation should be a great atmosphere. Castellones de Strada. So we did notice that that night game yesterday was the coolest game of the day. Not a surprise, but was much appreciated. It is a bit on the stifling side once you get out in the air. So it would appear that Camilo Ortiz has lost this argument. No review on that play. Not a reviewable play. Ortiz takes a ball outside. Actually, that was a strike. Excuse me. One ball, two strikes, the count. And now she waves the pitch in the dirt. Throw will go to first base. And that is a strikeout. Throw down, two to three. That's Kiri Ishii. Or excuse me. No longer Kiri Ishii. Uh, Sumitani is taking over behind the dish. Sumitani throwing down to Shimoyama. This is lined foul and just out of the grasp 
of Sakamoto at third base. Lee Sakamoto is strike number one. Madison Simon played center and left field here today. Needs to do something here. Or this game will end rather abruptly. Rodrigo down to their final out thanks to the run rule. Trailing by eight runs here in the fifth. 1-1 one, one pitch, fouled away. Now Simon down to her final strike. New Sakamoto in the circle, her second inning of work. One and two the count, two out. Eight to nothing, Japan has lead. This is grounded softly back to the pitcher. Sakamoto will underhand it to first. And that is the ball game. Five innings, eight to nothing. Japan will take this one as Puerto Rico unable to get on the board. New Sakamoto closing out the win for Sakura Miwa in a game that did not last very long. One hour and 32 minutes. And starting at just 11 a.m. Here in Cassiones de Strada. Eight runs on 14 hits for Japan. One error, just the one hit. It did not come until the second pitcher of the game. Yusuke Sakamoto allowing that hit to lead off the fourth inning. But that was it in terms of